Well, 405th members and Soaring Hammer members, today, you can't tell by the looks of it, but I was doing a little bit of work, and uh, Soaring Hammer Project revised again. All right, I'm about to show you all um, what I managed to accomplish. Yeah, it's another Soaring Hammer Project. It came from Joe originally. I changed it. Oh, I did detail on it the first time. Add a little bit of clay to it to extend the chin, and then so that's version one. It was the original master. I'll show you that. Then version two was the one I changed. Then now version three of the Almighty Recon. All right. Uh, well, you can't tell. You can see I've been trying to get a little bit of accuracy with my imagery. Yeah, she's hot. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so imagery. I cleaned up already, so you can't really tell. But yeah, this is clean for me. All right. Yeah. Okay. I want to show you. Yeah, look, my mess is still in here again. I, I, I clean mess, clean mess. I don't know. You all seen photos of this? Now you have to see it on video. Very clean. Okay, so this is the CQB that's going to go to uh, Bungie. We're still waiting on the liner to come in. And we've got one visor in. I'm waiting for four more to come in. I'm going to do two of the gold visors, do the dual visor and the liner. So there you go, everybody. That's the Bungie one coming in now. That's what I was talking about. This is version one. This is uh, so I clay on it, but I detailed this one based off of a little bit of detail that Joe had already had on it. Joe did a lot of work on this when I first got it. Uh, I added the foam stuff to create the detail coming outward. Did a little bit of dremeling, did a little bit of detail to it. Foam and foam, blah, blah, blah. I'm a crazy man. So this is the original chin. You can see how big the original chin was. And you can see the multiple, and people didn't like this. So, uh, there were quite a few people out there that didn't like this the multiple lines uh, and I understood why um, because there's supposed to be only five spots there but anywho so this was the version one this is the Alpha Omega this is the master okay then came along now be they be advised this is a crappy one this is that one that was going for like 50 bucks or something like that but it's the only other one I have here to show the differences in the chin for this one versus this one. This one, uh, I can't explain what happened to this one. A little bit of Vaseline inside the mold or something. Plus, it was cast real heavy. So that one was cast very heavy. So, she's still going 50 bucks. It's not a, a permanent run, so I could, guess I could post the price of this, this one helmet. Now I'm trying to get it out. So this is version two. Um, with the I also put clay in here to fill in the deep void of the visor. So now that is done. Y'all ready for this? Did some talking. Look at some imagery. Wanted to change this. Wanted to bring this out to the front. The original pep version is why this one's so far back in there. I do like that. Don't get me wrong. I do like that. But it's not how the game is. So what we managed to do now is you got the extended chin more it's a lot more blocked than this one is because the imagery is blockier the new the recon helmet is supposed to be like a really chiseled look here we chiseled off this detail back here whereas it was not here it just goes smooth runs straight back so we now block that off put this dot in the center which is supposed to be there some type of um, clipper or something I'm not sure filter I don't know it is not on this one will be on the new one. This is a new master, by the way, if you're all wondering. Uh, the visor is now uh, flush to the front as much as possible. I will put clay up in here again uh, before I um, mold this. I get my dragon skin in today. I don't think she'll be ready today to go because I just started painting her. We can see we changed the pattern here from the multiple lines to your one, two, three, four, five slots. All right. Drew 
Let's go to the side image here. You can see how squared this is. We came in and cleaned it up and rounded it. The bottom should be a lot more round. So we rounded it off and rounded in the detail here a lot more. You can see this detail is not real deep right here. This is not squared off, whatnot. Now it is. It's deeper, gives it more, is a deeper cut in here. Uh, these lines go further down, all the way down to the edge now. Uh, and this recess goes as well, this reservoir, goes all the way back and around and it's a lot deeper than it was before. You can see it wasn't too deep. Now it's a lot deeper giving this a rounder look on the bottom and whatnot. You can see we have the standard line coming up through here. I haven't seen much detail in the back of the recon, so please forgive me. I artist interpretation, all right? But we had a line back here. Now I actually cut that section out, drummed it in, gave it a uh, indent. And then, of course, you see the other side as well. And versus, ooh, you have this side versus that. You can see it's a lot cleaner, and this is the benefit about doing your molds twice. Because now it's all plastic rather than Rondo and fiberglass and resin. Very hard to do this lining with when you hit Rondo, especially your packets of resin that's inside there. Okay, it creates, it's really, makes your Dremel jump and stuff like that. It's really hard to do. Now it's all plastic. And now, you can see it's a lot cleaner look. All right, so, there you go. You have version one, version two. Don't mind the flash, that's not part of it. It was never cleaned up. And now, version three. See how the jawline is a lot more defined? I love it. It's a lot more defined, uh, and these little circles in there make it stand out a lot more. Um, I went through, I cleaned these up really good, made these more defined clean this up a little bit. I did notice I had a flaw. Yeah, go figure it, they got a flaw. Look at that. It's just like, looks tilted or off center. It's because this little edge is sticking down. It's a little thicker right on the side. So I straightened that out. And now it's uh, flush across. So it's a little, it's a little imperfections that you find on your own work, other people find. And last but not least, Oh, my lines, there's some of my lines here. Very deep, uh, pretty clean, but now the lines are a lot thicker and deep. Okay, so uh, I'm really hoping that that detail will stand out greatly. It's really deep, really good detail. Um, overall, I'm very proud of the new recon. It's gonna be the Dare Recon. I am now going to sit down for a couple hours <laughs> and I'm gonna make my own piece that goes here and make it part of the kit I'm gonna look at the imagery and come up with something it's gonna be another one of these dots I already know that uh, in the centerpiece and then just yeah it's pretty simple I'll just get the material to make it with so soaring hammer members 405th members and there you have version 1 version 2 version 3 the benefits of going custom straight from pep files to your first mold and being able to take that first mold and clean it up and redoing the detail on it to make an even better piece. So, for those of you who have bought the version 2, they still will be existent, they still will be out, they will be cheaper than the version 3. Alright, 3 is more accurate, a lot cleaner. So, let me know which one you want. Das Brutus has the mold for version 2, I left it with him, and I will have the mold for version 3. So, uh, hopefully I'll get some footage of the molding process. All right. Well, 4th members, this is Ithaca from Soaring Hammer and 405th.com. Remember, standard blog of instructions. If we can do it, so can you.